Hey everyone, welcome to a beautiful day in Taiwan. So today we are in Kaohsiung City in Taiwan and uh, I thought I'd check out this place because it said it was the most reviewed place that it sh you should go to and it's actually called the Kaohsiung Lotus Pond. Um, as I came here, unfortunately it is under renovation, but you can actually still go in there. So that's what we're going to be doing. It's such a shame if we come here and uh, we don't go in there. So um, I think we can. We're going to check that place out. We're going to see where today takes us. We're going to go look at some temples and, uh, you know, see all these beautiful areas here in Taiwan, um, which Kaohsiung City has to offer for us. So um, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be going down this zigzag area right here um, just to see uh, what this uh what this temple uh, what to expect of this temple look at me tongue twister right now aren't i um so this place here opens at around 8 a.m to 6 p.m so this is the time that you can visit the area it is open daily and uh a little interesting fact about this place actually is that uh suppose if you walk into the dragon's mouth right and walk out of the tiger's mouth um what happens is that uh, your bad luck, when you walk into the dragon's mouth, uh, all your bad luck goes through there. And then when you come out of the tiger's mouth, um, all the good luck comes back to you. So I don't know if that is actually true or not, but I did see that um, somewhere, which they have mentioned as a, um, uh, I guess like a, a myth you'd say. So here it is, the dragons and the tiger. So we'll do, I think we can go in, I'm gonna just, Okay, cool. So you can. Wow. So here is the dragon's mouth. So we're still going to be going in here. Oh, this is awesome. All right, what can we expect here? Wow. These are all scriptures. It tells a story. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah, so it's still under renovation right now. So here's, you can you see, this is the dragon's body right here. And uh, we're just walking past it. I can tell already this place is absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, let all the bad luck run out of my body right now so I can get some good luck. Welcome 2024. Let's do this, guys. All right, where are we heading to? 8 a.m. to 5.30. So this must be like the pagodas and where you can actually pray. Uh, just going to have a quick look inside. Oh, yeah, they're still renovating that too. Okay, so this here is the tiger's behind. We're going to go in there right now. Let's see. Very similar to Look at all these stories. Wow, this is fascinating. Oh. Now we're walking out of the tiger's mouth. Good luck for 2024. Yes. Whee! <laughs> All right. Well, just while we walked past that, that was super interesting. I found that really interesting. I like these scriptures on the side. It just told a story. And um, also, I like the concept of the bad and good luck sort of thing. There is a beautiful, uh, like, temple pagodas over there, a god over there. So what we'll do is we'll just explore each one of these areas and kind of see where today brings us. So let's go guys so this is the temple on the other side um we're just gonna go in there now i hope we can go in there wow look at all those at the top this is some beautiful statues right here wow i think we take off our shoes but no, that person's wearing his shoes inside, so I'm just going to walk in with my shoes as well. 
Wow. Wow, look at that. So gold statues. Top as well. Wow, guys, that was absolutely beautiful in there. Um, we're going to check out a few other temples and pagodas and see what today brings us. Yay! Alright guys, so there is a massive line here to go up. I don't know if it's whether to go up the temple or they're lining up to do something. Um, but uh, let's check this one out later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check this one out first. This is like on the opposite side of the road. Um, and I just need to learn how to cross the road first. Alright, cool. All right, let's do this. So again, we will be um, entering into a dragon's mouth. It's pretty cool. A koi fish as well. Okay, I'm out there. I'm out there. Oh, wow. Oh, check that out, everyone. Oh, wow, they even got like a mini shrine here as well. Um, just going to... Uh, she's just taking a photo, so I'm just going to see and wait so I can actually get into that dragon. Um, oh, it's getting pretty hot now. All right, cool. Now let's go. Again, we're going into Dragon's Den. Wow. It kind of echoes in here as well. So you're pulling the tiger. And then it's a story. Wow. So this is what it would actually look like, right? If it wasn't under construction. And it's pretty cool. Wow. It's a very interesting concept and design. I have never seen anything like this before. Seems to be an office here too. Oh, into the dragon's mouth. pretty long guys I think we're almost at the exit now oh. all right we've just gotten to the end oh these must be the devils Phoenix. Ooh. I have no idea what this is, but I'm assuming it's good luck. I'm gonna get good luck today, guys. <laughs> wow, so beautiful. There's the outside of the dragon and the pagoda. That's what the pagoda looks like. There's an extra pagoda over there.
let's go check out that pagoda over there and then the other one and see what uh, it looks like. All right, so we've just reached a pagoda and walked all the way here. Whoa! That bird almost flew to my face. Scary. Ooh, very nice place. Look at the design. Uh, there's also stairs that goes up. Oh, I wonder if you can actually see the city with this. It's like one of those uh, magnifying glasses. Beautiful. Oh, there's one god over there. Actually, let's go up. I'm sure the view is absolutely very nice, so we're gonna check that out. Wow. Can you guys see how beautiful this is? Oh my goodness. I like the design of it. The dragons, the phoenix. Let's go check it out. Mm. Oh wow, that really is beautiful. That's the 360 view of up here. Let's go to the next one. All right, so we've just gone to the other side. I have figured out what that line is. So that line is actually for free lunch. So as you can see, it's gone all the way down there. Um, free lunch for everyone. And it happens daily. So yeah, that's interesting. All right, let's go check out this uh, temple. This is um, supposedly the main temple everyone comes here uh, in Taiwan to pray. I just asked some locals in regards to it and that's what they said. So let's go check it out. glasses are reflecting all right guys we have just been to the start we're just gonna check out one more shrine uh, just down there where there's a god down there and uh, yeah I think uh, we've explored pretty much the whole area of the temples in Taiga and Dragon Pagoda so let's go hey everyone so I haven't shown you the upstairs as well which I missed so I'm just gonna quickly show you guys this Everything in this temple seems to be 
depicted by gold. That's really, really cool. I don't know if the gold is meant to symbolize wealth, but it's definitely a really, really nice place. Oh my gosh, guys, I am like walking around this like scenic lotus pond right here and I found ducks. Quack, quack. I'm just wondering, do quack, uh, do quacks, I mean, do ducks chase you? <laughs> I've been saying quack, quack that I forgot what their names were, to be honest. Quack, 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 quack. There's a few of them. There's around six of them here. Where's your little baby ducklings? Ooh, white butterfly. All right, guys, that's the last destination, which I'll show you over there. And uh, let's get cracking. All right, so let's look at the other temple that I have seen. We're going to be exploring this together because I have no clue what to expect. This here is the Confucius Temple in Kaohsiung. I hope I'm saying it correctly, but this is the temple here, which you can expect. Oh, let's go have a look at it now. Oh, this is a really open space. Oh, there's people taking pictures over there. Okay. There's a really big open space here. Look at that. Look at this right here. It's nice. I think it's nice. That's beautiful. It's not as like a colorful as the other temples that I've seen so far, but it's definitely very simple and you know beautiful in its own way. Every temple that we've been to is very distinct, but it's definitely got more of a simple look for this one. Um, I don't know if I have to take my shoes off. That's the thing. You know what? I think it's okay. Okay, let's have a look at this. That's very interesting. This one doesn't particularly have like the uh, gods and the shrines, but they have the plates over there with Chinese writing on them. Oh, this design is amazing. Let's go see the sides and see what they have. All right, so we're just going to be walking on the side, and I think this is more of a cafe. That's interesting. There's a cafe on the side. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, very traditional. And that's the temple that we just went into. We're walking on the side to see what they have. Similarly, mostly shrines here. <laughs> Alright guys, let's see if they've got... Oh, perfect. It's got English writing. The west side building covered with green glazed tiles located to the west side. It had the tablets of Confucius dis disciples and the Confucius scholars throughout Chinese histories are placed. Ah, that explains why there's no gods and shrines. It's like the plate stones of uh, the scholars. That's very interesting. Okay, and they've got toilets on the side here for you. And let's have a quick look. East side building, men's toilet accessible and Chongsheng Shrine. All right, let's get that side and see what they have. All right, so this here is the Chongsheng Shrine where uh, 
Yeah, it is dedicated to five generations of Confucius ancestors um, who were worshipped by the fathers, brothers of the four companions and fathers of the famous Confucian scholars of the Song Dynasty. So that's what this area is dedicated for. And then this is the outskirts over here. Similarly on that side as well. They have the uh, plate stones that are dedicated to the ancestors of the shrine. Uh, let's go have a quick look. So I have just found this area, very interesting. And uh, it pretty much tells you about Confucius life and the history behind it. So the background of Confucius. So he was born in the Lu state in spring and autumn period of the Chinese history. He was brought up by his mother because his father passed away when he was three years old. As a child, he was very eager to learn. So when he grew up, he studied ancient rites, music, and made a living by running warehouses and cared for cattle uh, for the aristocrats. So at the age of 23, he started to take in disciples to spread his ideas and philosophies. And at age 35, he left the Q state because of the turmoil in the Lu state. But there were no opportunities for him to realize his ideals, so he returned home to teach um, students. And at the age of 51, he finally held a position in the government and brought political changes to the state. But his efforts were not appreciated by the ruler, so then he decided to travel state to state to promote um, his philosophies. And after years of traveling, he came back to the Lu state and devoted himself to education and literature. And uh, he passed away at the age of 73. So that's pretty much his... Uh, um history of uh confucius itself and you know you've got these stamps here which you can actually um use it says confucius temple so you can stamp so this here is super interesting it's got the history i love history um Oh, it's awesome, they've got it in English too. So everyone, this here is uh, actually where you can um, read some of the history here as well, which is awesome. It means you get to know a little bit more about Confucius itself. And you can also take pictures here, beautiful. All right, everyone, that is the end of this tour of the Confucius temple, let's go. Okay, so this is the other side of the area. And we have pretty much just finished this tour of this temple right here. Because um, that's the exit over there and we explored this one, that one over the side, this one, and this one right here. So now we're going to go check out some other places. Alright guys, so this is the last one I'm taking you to. And uh, we're just going to go check it out. So this was the last one that I could actually see um, just while looking at the uh, pond itself. Because see how you can see those one, two, and this would be the last one, three. Um, yeah, last one that I can really see to take you guys to. Other than that, there's a bridge over there. There's a bridge over there. Um, but it's a really, really sort of like nice mountain view that you get as well so yeah so these statues they're actually sitting on phoenixes so one right there a phoenix one a horse i would say they're kind of like the zodiac signs but i don't think they have phoenix in there so i don't think that is the case Oh, they've even got an elephant here too. That's very cool. Okay. This is a pagoda over there. Another pagoda on that side. And, uh... Okay. That's very interesting. Um, let's go see what's inside here. Hold on, let's just go look. Wow, okay, so that is the really big statue that I saw from 
just over on the Tiger and Dragon Pagoda and we're gonna walk in I find this very interesting as well And when we head outside, it's an absolutely beautiful view. The 360 view that we can see outside. So we're just outside. Alright guys, well I have just taken you on the whole tour around all the temples here in Kaohsiung. I wouldn't say all the temples, but just the ones near the Tiger and Dragon Pakoda area. And uh, what I'll do right now is I will end this video and I hope you really enjoyed the tour of this place. Um, so if you like this video, like, comment and subscribe and we'll be back for more travel videos. Alright, see you guys later. Bye everyone!